Sifu is a third-person kung fu brawler made by the folks over at Slow Clap Studios, and they have really hit the nail right on the head with amazing hand-to-hand -hand combat. There will be no hand-holding in this game, although there is a brief introductory tutorial that is very cleverly thrown into the intro credits. This game is going to be satisfying because you will learn how to play it on your own. There are enough diversity of not only enemies, but also the way enemies will attack you to keep things feeling fresh no matter what. There is just enough predictability to allow you the opportunity to learn and figure out timing, but you will be challenged throughout this game no matter what level you're on, and there is no difficulty level in this game either. It is the difficulty that it is, and it will always be that way. There are certain prompts that you can turn on and off, but other than that, you are playing this game how it was intended to be played from start to finish. The story arc for Sivu is admittedly a little bit bland, but it's basic revenge, and for a game uh, based on beating the crap out of people with Kung Fu, uh, revenge is pretty much the only motivation you really need. You play a young boy who has watched his father get murdered by a former student of his, as you're seeing here, and uh, you will now make it your life's work to kill all of the people involved in that murder. Sifu implements an interesting death system where you will age a year or more, depending on how many times you've already died, each time that you do die in combat. Now, this brings an interesting form of strategy here, because if you go all the way to the top of your age and then die, it, the game is over. It's totally over and you have to restart again. So you do have options when you die to reset from your previous checkpoint at that current age you were at. But other than that, you, you've got a one-time playthrough, essentially, and it does put a precedent on... Uh, as best as you can finishing uh, a clean run through every round. Now, obviously, this style of play may not be for everybody, but if a real challenge is something you're interested in having in a combat game like this, this is one of the best games I've ever played, hands down. The skill tree is pretty large and diverse, but what you're going to find is that you really what you want to do is you want to try to unlock a few of these skills to keep with you after you die, as that is a function of this particular skill system, instead of necessarily unlocking all of them. It'll be something you'll have fun with. Guys, I hope you tried this game out, and if you already have tried it out, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. We'll see you all next time.